Okay, we are live here at the UK Wrestling Arena. Good evening. It is Friday Night Showdown, the night before Day of Reckoning. I am Brett Hadley here with my broadcast colleague, Steph Hindle. Hello. Hello. Hello there. We are on. We are on Friday Night Showdown, episode 30. Oh and we are God. raring to go, I know, tomorrow. But tomorrow is the Day of Reckoning for UK Wrestling. But one more stop before we get there. And lots to get through tonight. And uh, we are... Like opening the show with somebody with a lot on his mind. He's been blindsided the past couple of weeks. He wants to come out here and try and sort this out. Let's get our first guest out here tonight. He's not having a good time of it at the minute. He's uh, told J. Ro Lewis and the Playtime Mafia they are having their issues, shall we say, with a newcomer to UK wrestling. Yeah, Big Bad Fish has been causing all kinds of problems for the Playtime Mafia the past couple of weeks. And I know J-Ro is, is had enough of it, quite frankly. He's got a lot on his mind. Yeah, I don't blame him though, because he's been attacked by this mammoth man from behind for the past couple of weeks, and he's been having his way with the, the, play, uh, the Playtime Mafia. Well, it'll be interesting to find out what he has to say yep. about it. Because J-Ro's not... He's never a man short of words. If he's got something on his mind, he will get it off his chest. And he's got his opportunity as we kick off tonight's Friday Night Showdown. Let's go. What is it with people these days? I mean, really. You've seen the new book where they try to make a name for himself. We've seen people from Genesis. They're trying to them. They're really not trying to get your own attention. And mine. Apparently. I personally have a lot of interest in the Genesis brand. I've been here for a long time and I've seen people come and I've seen people go. Why wouldn't I want the best in the future of wrestling, right? Why would I not want the best? All I've ever done is try and help the new guys, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm not saying I'm the best in the world, but I'm always willing to help. I'm always willing to give. My party knows when you want it. But lately, the new book seems to take pleasure in either dipping in the crown jewels or blindsiding me from behind with mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really happy with the new book. Well, you're not going to be happy with the new book because I mean, it's not going to be happy with the new book. I don't know about you guys, but I don't say if you really have to blindside me, you've got more problems than trying to fight me, which is fair. And that leads me, leading to people like Mer Sebastian Mercer, Jacob Reed, they're starting to find out, now aren't they? They're starting to take care of themselves by doing stupid stuff like they're in my business. Which leads, leads me to this, this other guy who's been talking a few problems later. Big Bob Bish. I'm glad you got it right. The right name, that one is. Oh, well, I love that. But what I don't love about it is that I have absolutely nothing to do with this young individual whatsoever. Yeah, we've seen each other in the corridor, we've seen each other from that time, but I don't have anything to do with him until he bit my brother in our cerebral sea, and then all of a sudden, Big Bob Bish has got a problem with the Dexter. Like I said, I don't ever try to help the Moonbook, but now the Moonbook thinks you want to turn on me. Is it jealousy? What is it? I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm sick and tired of it. I know you guys like to see me have a good time. I'm going to go laugh and keep people don't like you to see, but I am getting tired of people jumping me from behind. I am getting tired of people trying to cheat their way to beat me. I get it. I've been to the top, I get it. I get you want to get there too, guys, but there's better ways of doing it than making me so pissed off that all I want to do is slap you all in the face. Wow, he's fine. Don't leave me to the individual in question, Big Bad Fish. Tomorrow night, day of reckoning. How about the ropes you stand in the ring with the Chester? Face to face, rather than behind my back or when I'm down. Tomorrow night, bitch. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. 
think that's, that sounds like Sebastian Mercer's music. What does he want? Well, he was name checked earlier by J Ro and. And here he is, the mercenary. Interrupting Jester who just challenged Bish to that match tomorrow at Day of Reckoning. Do you ever shut up? Uh oh. All I hear you do these days is just complain and whine about the new Genesis brand. All the new Genesis wrestlers. I wonder what this last You're the old guy. No one cares about you anymore. <gasps> Oh no. He just said that nobody cares about J Ro anymore? He okay. called him the old guy? What? However, at rebound, you got real lucky. Real lucky. I had your number. But your old pet, Cerebral Steve, got on the apron. You distracted me. Yeah, not my proudest moment. But he got me. So now, I'm not talking to you anymore, so you can do your own business. I'm talking to you, Steve. Cerebral Steve, whatever you want to call yourself, I really don't give a damn. Tomorrow night, I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, oh challenges are going go. out here tonight already. One -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up over there. J-Ro finds humour in this. Oh, here we go. It's like a party where we're getting joined by more guests. So Mercer's challenged Steve, J Rose challenged Big Bad Bish. And here he comes. And here comes the princess. The, 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 the partner of Mercer. Here comes Jacob Reed, who has his shot against Cliff tomorrow. Oh no. Oh, and go. now Mercer and Reed are, are, are together. I don't want you either. I don't want you either. And J-Ro's on his own. The wild one is the third tennis champion. Clint. Tomorrow night, mate. I'm taking that belt. I'm bringing it home. The audience sharing our thoughts. That's right. The crowd don't seem to think that's going to happen. And I think this next man doesn't either. Here is the Genesis champion. Cliff Harrison out here to uh, rebuttal against Jacob Reed, who said he's going to take the belt tomorrow. Right, okay. I'll get to you in a minute, Reed. First off, what do you want about? Honestly, have a go at J Ro. He's not complaining about me. He's the Genesis champion. What I'm trying to say is, we've been to let the side down. Three on two. I don't like where this is going at all. That would be a really, really good moment for some control. Oh, there he is. There's the music. Here comes Cerebral Steve. The odds are suddenly evened with the arrival of Jero's tag team partner. A lot of combustible elements out here, uh, Steph, I'll tell you. Somebody. Uh, now we need. Yeah, somebody needs to. Need some control. Somebody needs to do something about this, otherwise it's going to end up really, really bad. Whoa. Oh, here he is. Hey. Whoa. Thank God. I think I know where this is going. Tomorrow, you've all got matches against each other. Cliff, you've got Jacob Reed. Cerebral oh, yeah. Steve, you've got Sebastian Mercer. Jester Gerald Lewis, you've got Big Bad Pitt. Yeah. Seeing as you're all too keen to 
to get it started now, let's have a six man tag of how you set out. The team of the Playtime Mafia and Cliff Harrison versus the Mafia Murder, Jacob Reed and Big Bad Pitch. There we go, the six man tag is set and it'll be on the way right after this. We are back on Friday Night Showdown and that match set up by the man who's actually joined us here at the commentary desk, the one Sid Phoenix. Thank God for you, Sid. <laughs> Thank God you arrived just in time. And we are here. We have got a six-man tag team match. It's underway in just a moment as Sebastian Mercer, Jacob Reed, and a big bad bish against the Playtime Mafia and the Genesis Champion. You arrived just in the nick of time, my friend. <laughs> I made it just... Come on. There we go. Got to get them out here. Off we go. The match is underway here. And lots of combustible elements. These six men will collide tomorrow at Day of Reckoning. I mean, this is going to be an. In it, I mean, what a way to call this, Sid. Eh? This what is going to be an you interesting. Just jump, jump yourself right into the deep end here, Sid. Come on, we were about to see him just mass brawl. Yeah, here. that wasn't going to happen. This is the 30th, I believe. <laughs> 30th show, I think you're right. It is the 30th episode of Friday Night Showdown. Oh, where to start? And Sebastian Mercer and Cliff Harrison face it all, oh. facing off. And the mercenary not taking kindly to Harrison. And now, a lot of action going on already here in the UK wrestling ring. Cliff oh. Harrison tomorrow night has to face the mammoth Jacob Reed and defend that title. But for now, he's got Sebastian Mercer. Oh, and Electro. <laughs> Electro. Mercer's going to be singing higher in the shower in the morning. After that, a beautiful leg drop from the Genesis champion who kicks Mercer right in the oh, right in the face. I mean, there's a re there's a reason why Cliff Harrison is the Genesis oh absolutely. Champion. And we're seeing it now. Aren't we? it's no accident. Oh uh, yeah, Mercer trying to escape, he does and tags in the man who tomorrow will face Harrison, who also makes a tag out to Jero here. Jero with the speed advantage over Harris uh, over Reed, sorry, and drop kicks him in the shoulder. And this crowd here in the UK wrestling arena. Oh my god. Snapmare by Lewis. Off the ropes he comes and now the leg lariat into the face of Reed, but only gets a one count. That was a little premature that. Yep. Straight in and now tags in Cerebral Steve, who's going to get his knees in Big Bad. Well, I was going to say his hands on Bish, but he's getting his feet on him as well. The walking weapon that is Cerebral Steve and Big Bad Bish. Oh, oh, colliding. I mean, there's a reason he's called Big Bad. Oh. But he missed that one. Big Bad Bish as running over Cerebral Steve there. Well and truly. I guess you got a lot on your mind, Sid. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but God, blimey. No words for you. Honestly. Main event, Sid Phoenix? <laughs> Jeez Louise. We'll get to that a little bit later. Cerebral Steve's getting ragdolled around this ring by this newcomer. Impressive, oh my God. Right on his noggin. That was brutal. Right on his head went Cerebral Steve. Big Bad Bish drags him into the corner. The tag is made. It goes from bad for bad to worse here. Oh. Steve trying to fight battle. Oh, the kicks. Oh, those legs. Oh. <laughs> like we keep saying, every part of him is used as a weapon. We're not lying. Oh. Right in the face, tags in his partner from the Playtime Mafia here. Oh, beautiful. Nice right, stunner there. Lewis might have Reed here. Reed doesn't want to suffer a loss tonight on the way to that match against uh, Cliff tomorrow. I'm say, if he needs momentum, it's tonight. Yeah, it's exactly. It's opportunity of his career. So. Oh, there we go, look. That uppercut calls it delirium. <laughs> to be fair, that's a lot of man in the knocking, face. Knocking Lewis delirious at that <laughs> really was. Wow. Lewis Delirious t-shirts on sale. <laughs> We're all about the t-shirts. I'm in partial Brett Adley, apparently. My t-shirts are on sale next week. Oh! Chops for, chops for the evening meal as well. Mmm. Mm. How do you like your chops, like, J-Ro? Oh, he's oh, asking for another. And another one? Jero asking for his chest to be beaten on. Fighting back, but it's not having much effect against Mercer. 
Oh, oh, they're just trying to brutalise oh. each other. Yeah. Loves his chest, doesn't he? Does. He? Jero's sure chest is going to be a nice shade of crimson tomorrow. After that, Mercer crisscrossing with the momentum again into the face of Jero. Thinks he's got him. Down for a cover and that gets a, a two. Weak cover. Another weak cover. A lot more has to be done at this point. Oh, this is the opening match here on Friday Night Showdown tonight. Lots more action to come. Sid, our main event tonight. Jonathan Cedric and JPR. Well, it, it, Unbelievable. It, it's there because JPR made the statement. He's got to go through everyone to get back to the top yep. of the mountain. And what better man to go through than see? Oh, the company as Reed telegraphs Lewis might have the jester here. No. So let me get this right. Tomorrow it will be Big Bad Bish against. Oh, against Jero Lewis, there Jero we go. Lewis, yes, you got me on the spot. Yeah. I think you lose your <laughs> Mercer, Mercer against Cerebral Steve and Jacob Reed against the Genesis champion Harrison as oh, Lewis fires back with a knee. Beautiful knee, and this might be the opening that Lewis needs to get to one of his partners who is stamping on the apron here. <laughs> well and truly, are they eager or what? More than, More than eager. Lewis is still a, a, fair, a fair way of, from the apron. He gets his tag though, and in comes Cliff Harrison and Big Bad Bish. Can Harrison chop down? Yes, he can. Beautiful wow. neck breaker. And this thing's going to break down quickly here. Harrison showing once again, and now he's got his hands on the man who will challenge him tomorrow. The Cliff side effect. But he's not the legal man. Hamza's right. The legal man is, is it Bish at this point? Yes, he's about Bish. Is big bad Bish. But has it, he given him too long here to be caught? Oh, look for the unprettier, maybe. Oh, he can't get Bish. Oh, he's thrown into the arms of Reed. He's got him up for the Jacob's Ladder. He's got him. Oh, that's the Jacob's Ladder. If he hits that tomorrow, we might have a new Genesis champion. The Cerebral Steam. The, the, the strength. Oh, oh my god, the strength. Is he in his own? He is his own variation of it. Oh no. no. And Mercer's got Steve on his no, shoulders. Oh no. This thing's breaking down. Where's the control? Oh, Lewis. Oh, but, nice. I think Jera is now the legal man. Oh, yeah. he's going to get oh, behind him. him. Big Bad Bish is the legal man as well. And Bish oh. drops Jero. He forgot all about it. And this is over. Oh, oh my god. Big Bad Bish. Just beat Jero. Big Bad Bish may have beat him. Look at the outside here, it's just carnage. Wow, Big Bad was the first match for Big Bad Bish officially here on Showdown, and he's just beaten a former UK Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Sid Phoenix. Oh my days. What a statement, that, that is. Well, that's exactly what it is. How are we going to see the same result tomorrow? If we are, we're going to have a new Genesis Champion, and Cliff Harrison is in real trouble tomorrow, guys. And tonight, an impressive, emphatic statement by Jacob Reed, Sebastian Mercer, and the man who's just beaten a former UK wrestling Come champion. The oh, tomorrow. You heard Jacob Reed there, guys, said tomorrow's the end of the Cliffside story. <laughs> a statement that you've got to be brave. And that is just that, the, yeah, the, the Cliffside story is in trouble tomorrow. As Cliff Harrison, J. Ro Lewis and Cerebral Steve all have their issues with those three men tomorrow here at Day of Reckoning. Join us tomorrow. Uh, not a good night for Cliff Harrison and the, the Playtime Mafia here. It's not good. Massive effort there from the Playtime Mafia and Cliff Harrison, but not enough here. No, just not enough victory. tonight. It's just not enough at all. all right, more action is on the way on Friday Night Showdown right after this. Stay right there. We are back on Friday Night Showdown here from the UK Wrestling Arena, and it's time for our next match. Let's take it up to our ring announcer, the lovely Shelby. Your next match is a singles match. Oh yes, it's title time, kids. Oh yes. The 
a black capper. My man, the Yorkshireman. Still, they are on the Somehow, somewhere, the Yorkshireman has held on. He's held on to the uh, Around the Clock Championship. Here he is. It is Yorkshire time. You got it. Oh, I fancy a Yorkshire pudding. A Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> no Yorkshire puddings tonight. It's far too warm for them. It's the hottest day of the year so far in the UK. It's the action is always hot here in the UK wrestling arena. I'm pretty sure the hottest day of the year is July the 30th. No, that's going to be the hottest day in the UK wrestling calendar. It's Wrestle Region 13, live from the UK wrestling okay, arena. There you go. <laughs> the segues are yeah, right in themselves. <laughs> Brett and Steph's Segway t-shirts on mine soon. <laughs> For now, though, we have the Yorkshire back to action here. He is defending that around the clock championship in a regular match. Of course, the bell, when the bell rings, only the person who is challenging can challenge at that point until the bell rings again. Yes. <laughs> then it's a free for all, right? <laughs> yeah, we got it there. Do you like my bow tie, Sid? Oh, look at you going My on. bow tie, He's yeah. Very proud today. I am a very proud individual. We're in Pride Month. I thought, I've got to wear a bow tie. There we are, Yorkshire. Here comes the Yorkshire champs. Ah, he's feeding off, isn't he? Like the energy. Man, drink his tea, he's feeding off. But unfortunately, he's going to have a, a task on his hand here. Do you think he drinks Yorkshire tea? I don't. I had a disagreement with him last week, so I don't drink Yorkshire tea. He nearly disowned me. You washed it out. I know, I know. How's this happened anyway, Sid? This hasn't been run through me. Oh, I thought you. Shot. Hey, oh. you don't know about this. Uh oh. I mean, it has to go through you, surely. You sanctioned these matches. Hey, but... There's powers higher than myself. Yeah. Wow. So it's not been sanctioned, but somehow, look at the look on his face as well. The Persian Empire are all here in mass, including your opponent for tomorrow. Said he's giving him the, the icy stare already. Mustafa Khan's are out here. Everybody's out here. Are they doing anything for themselves? No, like, they're really they not. Together, they? they are not capable they, of doing anything by themselves. I swear they down. Drink tea together. Like, look how it works to that ring. I know. Look, Mustafa Khan just smirking up at Sid Phoenix, yeah, pointing up at him. I've noted that belt you around can't, his face. You, you've got to yeah. calm yourself down, Sid. Wait. He hasn't even got it. Look at him. Calm. He knows it's coming home. Why do I feel like the Persian Empire sit? Sitting in a nice field, making daisy chains together. That's the word I'm looking for. It's combustible. That's what this is. That's your word of the day. The most. Combustible. <laughs> so many combustible elements. I used to look for the word dictionary corner. It's open all weekend. You were apparently apoplectic. Yes, you were last week. I don't com combustible and apoplectic so far. <laughs> I'm only just getting started. The Brett Hadley Dictionary is available at all decent retailers. <laughs> this is it. And Thanks some you. rubbish ones as well. <laughs> but we don't talk about them. Johan Hum, though, has a chance here, though, in all seriousness, to become a double champion if you can, if you can stomach that. And there we go. Getting them separated, Leighton. The auctionman putting that around the clock championship on the line, of course. Johan Hunt and Big Duncan are the current UK wrestling tag team champ. Oh look, Joey holding a belt again. Joey's <laughs> <laughs> forgot what that one's like. Yeah, yeah. forgot what that feels. He doesn't look very, he looks miserable, doesn't he? Told Joey's having a bad couple of weeks. Let's do this. Oh, the bell rings, we're underway, this around the clock. So now, the only person that can challenge the Yorkshireman at this point is Johan Hunt. Oh, oh he shoving. He isn't his pack though, is he? No. Oh, the auctionman has this crowd on his side. Oh, he's got a car. Oh, no. Disrespect. Yeah, throwing the cap. That's just going to anger the auctionman. You don't mess with the flat cap. That was, that was a response we expected. You do not mess with the flat cap of the auctionman. I swear down. spilling out here. On the road. Spilling out. I don't like the look of this already, though, Sid. I mean, it's supposed to be one on one as a regular match, but you got the pack of wolves. I mean, the goon squad Come on, out there. Come the goon squad. Yeah, the Persian goon squad. Are you're, you're allowing me to do that. Thanks, Sid. The goon squad is true. 
There you oh. go. The, uh, oh. the Persian goods. Oh! oh! Johan Hunt tried to chop and all he met was the steel oh! ring post. That's going to hurt Wolfboy's arm. Oh, that's really going to hurt. Oh, is there somebody got a little wooden Yeah, oh. I, think he, I think he has because oh. his hand just hit the, the steel of the ring oh. post. Oh, look at Yachiman oh. slapping that hand. Oh, she was having his fun. Oh. Yachiman's oh, like, God. give me a hand. <laughs> Oh, yeah. the, crowd. the bonus is though, the Yorkshireman has the champion's advantage here. Yeah, it's if a the, regular match. If the Persian Empire get involved in the they next get disqualified. Season. The Yorkshireman keeps the belt. It's a regular oh, match until the, uh -huh. and then it, when the match is over, the Yorkshireman needs to get the hell out of here. Basically, <laughs> I was gonna say, it's really yeah. like, because any one of this Persian Empire could charge it. Yeah. For that time. Well, for the moment, it is one on one. If the Persian Empire get involved, they'll lose. And it's Leone oh. Rose look. But the referee's not seen it, and said you're getting a cheap, yeah, you're getting a cheap shot in. Oh, look at Leo, isn't she big and tough one? When somebody else, oh, Duncan is big and tough though. No dispute in that. Oh, you can smell that. Yeah, you can smell it and hear it. The Ultraman felt it. Right on the back, and look at this Persian Empire, all happy. Behind the referee's back, there's the Wolf Blade. Is he going to win the title? Is he going to be a double champion? No, nah, it's going to take more than that. Come on. Nah, I'm just saying the Yorkshire man yeah. isn't going to give up that nah. championship so easy. Yorkshire spirit here at the UK Wrestling Arena needs to get this crowd going here. Whip it versus the Wolf. Let's yeah, go. the Wolf Boy here. Look at the Wolf on nine, though. Nobody home. Oh, nice arm drag though. I think he went for that arm drag that he does yeah. off the ropes. An arm one nine? <laughs> arm drag one nine. Oh dear. Still the auction clinging on to the Around the Clock Championship. We're live here at the UK Wrestling Arena the night before Day of Reckoning. Look at nice pin oh, here. Oh, that was, that was quite clever. I hate to say it. Look at Mustafa Khan pointing up at Sid. Yeah, nodding his head, that's on tomorrow. They need to realise they couldn't beat us without getting disqualified. No, nope. last week. They it was it was, it was a six month tag and they, they couldn't they couldn't get the job done, so Joe Sedgwick and Leone were up here with me having they, a having a thoroughly on, miserable me, time. I'm picking up for the one drop. It was all yeah. right. I had your hunt ready, it was you game did. over. But no, in come the Empire and it ended it badly. But oh. your hunt Teasing the Yorkshireman oh, here. Succeeding. Yeah, and now oh, look at, at flip-flops on the apron. Holding a belt that's not his. And Leone and Joey on the apron here. This is, this is just not good, I mean, Sid. I feel sorry for the referee. He's got to yeah, hide to, all this in control. He just doesn't know where to look No, here. there's members of the Persian Empire everywhere. And now Johan Hunt back in the ring here gets caught by the Yorkshireman. Oh, Knocks him down. One, two, three. He gets it. The Yorkshireman retains the title. Now get out of there. Yeah, massive victory for the Yorkshireman. Spoils the attempt of Johan Hunt to become a double champion. And Johan Hunt arguing with the referee, but no, it was it was fair. It's a fair cover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he needs to be careful here. Oh, behind you, Joe Cedric. Oh, we knew it was a matter of time before this was going to happen. Whoa, and there go JPR, Cedric, and Sid. Sid, oh, oh he's had Sid. enough. Sid's out of here. Oh my God! What Sid was that? Phoenix. Where do you call it again? Combustible. Combustible's right. And now, out as Leone Rose and the Persian Empire have been dispatched. Out in the ring they go and near the red rub. The DDT by JPR. Round right Wolf Boy's head. And JPR and Cedric tonight will be opponents, but for the minute, a common, common enemy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend at this point. Absolutely. As JPR. Sid Phoenix, Jonathan Cedric and the Yorkshireman fend off the Persian Empire for now. That's what we like to see. Yep, holding off the Persian Goon Squad at this point, but they're not going to be able to do that forever, you know what I mean? You know, they're just not going to be able to do it all the time. They're not always going to be there, and that's what's really upsetting. Persian Empire have been held up on Mustafa Khan. Mustafa calling call for the microphone here. Oh, look at me, it's, it's not me you've got the issue with here. Your issue's in the ring. Yo, 
Remember, don't run your mouth because I already slapped the yellow from your teeth last week. You would always like to step in the ring with the greatest UK WWE champion. Who's that? And Jonathan, Unfortunately, you know what right. it's like. And he's right again. And after last time, the Persian Empire gave you a beating of the last time JPR. But let me move on to the, the weakest link. See Phoenix. The Phoenix isn't going to be rising from the ashes tomorrow night. Oh, I like what he did. As you can see, I'm, a, I'm dressed a bit casual today. I'm taking it easy. Because you know what, son? You ain't a challenger. You're not even a challenge. Right? Oh, wow. I'm going to step in that ring tomorrow. And we all know you had that injury. Your back is damaged. Tomorrow, I guarantee you. I will end your career. I will break your back. Oh. You will be leaving here in a wheelchair. My words, you better take seriously. As if God himself said it. Wow. Mustafa Khan throwing out, laying down the law of what's going to happen tomorrow at Day of Reckoning when Sid Phoenix gets his shot at arguably the greatest UK wrestling heavyweight champion of all time, the Persian Empire's leader, Mustafa Khan, against the one Sid Phoenix, one time for the UK wrestling heavyweight championship tomorrow night at the UK wrestling arena right here in Batley. Can Sid Phoenix be the one to dethrone the ruler of the Persian Empire tomorrow? We will find out at Day of Reckoning, live from the UK Wrestling Arena. Lots more action to come. Lots more action to come on Friday Night Showdown. We'll be back after this quick break. Stay with us. We are back live on Friday Night Showdown here from the UK Wrestling Arena. Brett Hadley, Steph Hindle, and are you, are you, are you calm, Sid? I'm relaxed, okay? I'm relaxed. You, we had enough of the numbers, good? I've said this time and time. That's the it reason is. I'm going against Mustafa It's numbers, Khan. numbers and numbers, and the Persian heavyweight to champion there, Mustafa Khan, laying the law down to you. But we'll get to that tomorrow, Sid Phoenix, with his chance against Mustafa Khan. Right now, more action on the way on Friday Night Showdown. Shelby, it's all yours. Your next match is a singles match. UK Wrestling is approaching WrestleMation 13 and one of the men who's been here the longest. Besides me. <laughs> besides me. Besides me, besides Shelby, who've been here absolutely ages, this guy has also been here a hell of a long time. The ever-present wildcard Tommy Dillon. Ready for action on Friday Night Showdown. And he's got a challenge probably against the hottest newcomer we've seen in the past few months here at UKW. A man making all sorts of waves. And all the puns are about to come flowing out of my mouth. Here we go. <laughs> here is his opponent. Is Oh yeah, the perfection. Yeah. Momentum has had, let's get it right, a lot of momentum since starting his career in UKW. He's been hella impressive every single match he's had, guys. Why did you just say hella? Hella impressive. <laughs> he really he really has been impressive though. No more radio one for you. <laughs> Other radio stations are available. Yes. <laughs> Hella impressive. I'm down with the kids. Oh you know, that's what it is. <laughs> down with the youth of Moving today. On to ringside. Uh, <laughs> Welcome, grapple fans. Is that better? That's better, yeah. <laughs> here in the squared circle, are about to knuckle down. Oh my god. Leighton rings the bell, and here we go. So we got momentum against the wild card. This crowd into this tonight. Another great crowd here from Friday Night Showdown, the night before Day of Reckoning. Have these two guys faced each other I don't before? think they have, have they? Sid, I don't Who? think they have. These two guys. Tommy Dillon and Momentum. 
think this is the first time meeting. First time. Yeah. yeah. We're well, not your first time meetings because we never know quite how it's going to, like, how they're going to gel together. But we've got the veteran and the upstart really here. And Momentum has had a very impressive start to his UK wrestling career. And Momentum's already proven that he's, he's quite athletic. He's got oh, he's very athletic. He's got a lot of stamina, a lot of athleticism. You know, he can flip around. He can do moonsaults. He can fly. Has he got that strength that Tommy Dillon has? has he, well, he, hasn't, he might not have the strength, but Tommy Dillon has got the experience. Yeah, definitely. Oh! But, like experience, there, so yes, it didn't, didn't go into play, did I was going to say, the speed there, I think, got Tommy Dunn off his, off his feet. Yeah, it? now, look, the standoff, I mean, the, there's healthy respect here, you can tell. There's healthy oh, respect, okay. but now both guys crisscrossing the ring, seeing where, where, who can get like, any kind of advantage. Tommy Dillon under the speed of momentum, who dips under Dillon, and both guys, oh, nice. the same idea, but momentum with a drop kick. Is Tommy Dillon missing something? Or am I going mad? The no, glove not. is missing. It was missing last week yeah, as well. Yeah, it was missing last week and we're no. missing again this oh. week. But it was there the week before. And now, momentum with kicks. He's got some educated feet, that boy. Sweeps it down. He's looking for a moonsault here, maybe. That was no. very no. casual. Oh, wow. penalty kick. Now's the moonsault. Oh. There it is. Right down for the cover. It gets a two. Wow. Very quick is momentum. Quicker than a hiccup. That's what we like to say. Really? Yep, quicker that, than that, a hiccup. That is the Brett line yeah, for yeah. momentum. Quicker, quicker than, than a hiccup. He is. Hiccup. And he now he's got, he's gonna get, he's got, yeah, I can say all the merch. Uh, trying to get uh, Dylan on his, on his oh, shoulders. Oh. Dylan just overpowered momentum and takes him down. And almost, oh, oh that was wow. A response, but how much did that take out of Tommy Dillon? Yeah, he, he powered him up and over, but he almost got the victory there. Both guys on the road to WrestleBration. Sid Phoenix is on the road to Day of Reckoning tomorrow with his shot at oh, Mustafa oh. Khan. Well, it's Dillon here with the dead. Has he got that? No, he's, he's got the choke. Goozles him. Is he going to choke slam him? He is. Yeah. Oh, he's got him up and down. The choke slam. But why is he so slow with that cover? Yeah, it was a little bit of a conservative cover as well. Ah, that's just so slow. Yeah, very conservative cover by the wild card, who quite frankly should know better than that. What's he looking for here? Trying to get some sort of leg yeah. submission, but he gets pushed off. That wasn't going to work though, is it? No, momentum. momentum. is a man of a lot of leg. Yeah. Say. <laughs> oh, and a lot Ooh. of knee colliding with the face of Tommy Dillon there. Yeah. That's what that was. Oh, and now he's got oh. him up on the shoulders, but Dillon, with the wise ring awareness, knew where he was. And oh no, what's no, he got? No, no. No, no, trying no. to suplex momentum out of the ring. Oh, this is pretty. This is word of the night. Precarious. Oh, no, I don't like this. On oh, both men on the apron. It's as you know, Sid. The hardest part of the ring is if you get dropped on there. <laughs> Let's just say it's the part it's I will gonna be hurt. avoiding tomorrow. Ooh, momentum with a kick knocks Dylan down. And momentum. Oh, no, Here's no. going to do another oh. kick. Nice feet are very well educated, aren't they? And momentum and Dylan spilling. Spilling, spilling to the outside of the ring here. And both guys, oh, no momentum. Taken into the ring post. Leighton is up to seven. I don't like where this is going. Oh, no, Dylan now into the ring post. Oh, this is, Leighton's up to nine. It, oh, that's it. Both guys have been, been counted out. And this match coming to quite an abrupt ending. Oh, yeah. as, is that yeah, what? neither man neither could man answer that. No, they could. This is a draw here. Neither man could answer the answer the count. Both men have been counted out, making this match a draw. It is a draw because a draw, and both guys get whipped into the the corner post. That's, neither man could I get back the in. The audience stunned it. I don't think they yeah. could believe that they saw Leighton out red out nine. I think it was like no way. Yeah, there's no way that that. But he, that's, you had both men stood up. What's going to happen now? now? And now both men are sort of at oh, log no. loggerheads here thinking, you know, this is, you know, we both whipped each other into the post, fair game. It was a good match while it lasted, but it came to a bit of an abrupt halt on the outside. Momentum. Momentum going for momentum. Yeah. 
gets a good hand here from the UK wrestling crowd. I'd like to see that match again, Sid. I'd like to see them oh, go yeah, at so it we again. We need an ending to that. Yeah. We're going to have oh, to we... see the match again. Yeah, that was like, uh, you know, like the match that uh, just... Just was you... the match that time forgot. Yeah, literally. <laughs> the time ran out on the match because... Both men were competitively beating each other up on the outside, colliding with the ring post, and, you know, that was it. I'm pretty sure the ring post is probably the very one thing, more than anything, you are going to want to avoid with your back Definitely, Sid. You've got to look at that. Momentum is not going to be happy they're getting a draw. No, he he looks frustrated coming up here. He's desperate for a Genesis Championship title. So he's like, I need to win. This is a wild card that ain't going to be happy, a veteran. He'll be like... Why have I fell for that? Why have I allowed a count out to happen here? This shouldn't be happening. You could see in his like, face. They were getting caught up in the heat of battle, which is easy to do. Well, you know. Yeah. What well, do you think if that reverse <laughs> didn't happen? Would would Wildcard have been able to break the count there, roll back in, roll back out? All the questions that we didn't get answered. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, it's Friday Night Showdown here at the UK Wrestling Arena, live from Batley. We hope you join us tomorrow for Day of Reckoning. Don't forget that huge main event with you, Sid I've Phoenix. just got word in my what, ear. What, have you? So oh. Someone wants to come to the ring. Have we got, yeah. a, we got a special guest, don't someone we? Someone wants to say a few words. Oh, let's see who oh, that no. is. Let's get our special guest out here. Don't worry, Steph. Let's get them out here. I think I know who this is. Sounds like familiar music to me. I have a feeling in my loins uh, that we're about to be joined by this man, the very dapper young Horace. Here he is. I mean, I, I've never seen Horace looking as smart in my life. That's not something you see every day. No, I'm, I've never seen it before. I thought when I heard the music, I was like, that's Horace's music. I didn't think Horace owned clothes. So, so here's the man with the uh, the most notorious streak in UK wrestling for all the wrong reasons. Like, he's a lovely guy. He's got a heart the size of Yorkshire, but he's yet to get a victory. Yeah, no, not wrong. Try as he might. He's now at 30 and 0, Sid. Let's hear what he has to say. I'll be saying, he's come to the mood for a reason. Yeah, yeah. How are we doing tonight, guys? Looking nice tonight, Batley. Hey! Hey! So, I've always listened to the Montel's quite honest person. Just tonight, I want to be honest with all of you. I made my debut about 10 months ago. I think you all agree with me that. I wouldn't have ever thought I'd be walking in today of wrestling with a set of match losing streak. True. We never imagined this. Unfortunately, that's the case. But to my surprise, even after I came back from my injury from the bash, you're all supportive of me. Every person loves me and gives me support, and I'm sure take this further right now to acknowledge that and thank everybody for that. Without, without you, I probably wouldn't be still here every week. So, there is a lot of love for him, and I understand it. I get it. I told you I got injured at the bash, and I haven't forgotten about it. I have forgotten about that man child, Kevin Carlisle, Ooh. who, when he got eliminated, decided to throw his toys out the pram, as he always does, <laughs> and attacked me, cracked me over the head with a steel chair. He's but telling no lies. I didn't know if I could have him, but I did. Now, Kevin, you're a very impressive champion. I mean, look at you. You're the first UK W. Grand Slam Champion. That's no small feat, I can guarantee you all. That he is. Well, that's what I've been waiting for. See, I was waiting for you to become the Grand Slam Champion. Just because I knew how bittersweet it would be for not only me to get my first victory at UK, but to take your 
your television championship. Finally, the people, a TV champion that they can all be proud of. Here in Carolina, I want to challenge you, pay a reckoning for the TV championship. No, 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 no. You Horace, do us all a favor. Shut your little mouth. Please take off that ridiculous suit. It's almost as ridiculous as that stupid mask that you run around in. Now, I'm in the back listening to you waffle on and on about your big redemption story, wanting to get back at me for injuring you at the bash. How is your head, by the way? How are you feeling? Are you 100% now? You better be, because if you're going to call me out, and you're going to try and come for my UKW television title, you've got to be on your A game. You've got to be at 100% to be able to put me down. I admire the fact that you've listed my accomplishments, so I'm glad you've been taking note of my very long career in UKW. But you know what? I don't even know if you're worth my time to get in that ring and continue this ridiculous losing streak that you've got going on, which in itself is pretty impressive. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in UKW history lose as much as you have. Uh, excuse me, shut up. Shush, 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 shush. While the champ is talking, you are silent. Thank you. You want a match with me tomorrow night at Day of Reckoning? If that's what it takes to finally put you down and shut you up, humiliate you in front of the UKW audience one more time, maybe this time I'll just put you out for good. You want a match tomorrow night? You want to come for my title? Bring it. Bring your stupid mask. Bring your A-game. Bring that losing streak. And I'll see you tomorrow night in the centre of that ring. I'm going to do exactly what I say I'm going to do. And I'm going to beat you again. And with any luck this time, you might not walk out with a bit of an injury. Who knows? Wow, so there we have it. Tomorrow, Day of Reckoning, it will be Cayman Carlisle and Young Horace for the UK Wrestling Television Championship. Can Horace snap that losing streak? We'll find out tomorrow at Day of Reckoning. More UK Wrestling Friday Night Showdown is on the way after this. We are back on Friday Night Showdown, live from the UK Wrestling Arena. It's episode 30. Brett, Sid and Steph here at ringside. More action is on the way. Let's take it up to Shelby. Your next match is a singles match. Sid, Sid and Steph, if you can't see them here at the desk, have both got their heads in their hands because they heard Shelby say the words and accompanied by the Persian Empire. It's like, do they because, do, I'm serious, do they do everything no, together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. Uh, immediately, we don't want any trouble here, just get on with it. Pointing. Here come the whole the Persian Empire again. Right, why am I still not on for tomorrow? I don't why know. Why have I turned up this week with nothing to do? And why have I got nothing for Is tomorrow? Complaining again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Winge, 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 winge. Ladies. Winge, 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 winge. Ladies, please. Oh, you mean Sydney Phoenix has just been warned by the ladies' champion, saying, you know, why hasn't she got a match tomorrow, Sid? Sydney hormones. What's the issue, Sid? Why hasn't she got a match? They won't just learn it, but you're Cedric saying, make me a match, where's my match? Oh, he wants his dad, we know that, but his dad's otherwise occupied tomorrow. So that's not going to happen, kid, I'm sorry. Andrew, 
Jepson! What is going to happen now, though, is the Man Mountain Andrew Jepson, one half of the New Dawn, who do have their rematch tomorrow yep. for the UK Wrestling Tag Team Championships against Duncan and Wolfboy. Yeah. And the Man Mountain is back. His partner, though, so we understand no. Billy O'Keefe, I've heard a rumor about Billy, and let's see if Andrew Jepson can confirm this. I, I think we've got a bit of an issue here. So, just so we get this right, tomorrow, day of reckoning, you don't have our rematch. Hmm? Correct. Right. However, last week, oh. yeah, it's been on. You have decided to beat up what you do, Billy. Oh, that they now, did. Billy's not here tonight. And he's not here tomorrow. He's injured, I know what? it. He's not he's hurt. They hurt him last week. I thought oh, I heard a rumour about this. However. Oh, however. You guys don't know this, or you might not. A new dawn wasn't made a couple of months ago by me and Billy in the back, just think let's throw it together. Was actually put together a couple of years ago by a group of us. Hey, he's right. So tomorrow, whether it's me, he's and right, Billy, Sid. If he does show up, yeah. or me and other person, oh. or another person, <laughs> then bells are coming back to the new dawn. Wow. So yeah, I mean, it, the historian in me is. Now is Donkey donkey, let's pick you up. <laughs> what? The historian in me is cooking here oh. because Jepson is right. I was gonna say there is more members, but I'm yeah. not sure who they but are. Who? It was that long ago? No, no. Oh, I you're mean, gonna leave me in suspense. Yeah, because but there's been a pandemic since then, and, <laughs> and I, 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 I'm, I'm flummoxed, but it's true. There were more members to the New Dawn. There were, there were more members to the New Dawn. It's right. So Billy is it? I heard about Billy this. Is I heard the rumor because he got the magic color on the outside of the ring last week, and he got dropped on his head. He got kicked in the ribs, and he's injured. He's going to decide whether he wants to wrestle for that. See yeah, that rematch. Well, we'll see. But tomorrow, a new dawn in some capacity and way will be facing Duncan and Wolfboy for those tag team championships. But now see, these two behemoths are locking up here. Mountain can topple Funky Donkey. Yeah, as he called him, he said Funky Donkey. Now let's beat you up. But that's a slap base. It's going to be. Uh, an easier said than done task, let's be honest, guys. There's both men like jockeying for some sort of position of advantage. They're Our just. Are at stay well up. Yeah, <laughs> they are two very, very big men. If you've not seen them in person, they're not called the, the like the Man Mountain and the Behemoth for nothing. I thought he was called Funky Donkey. I thought no, he, was he is a Behemoth. <laughs> Look at the size of him. Uh, the, there's just no decisive advantage between these two men. You oh. and the Persian oh. Empire. Oh, there's oh, and oh. Again, we know already that that uh, Jepson is a very oh, agile wow. guy, and he just topples Duncan. Knocked down the redwood there. I was going to say Duncan's kind of like a weeble. <laughs> Show him enough times, eventually he will go over. Yep, well, he, got, he, got, he got kicked and. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, surely not. He's got broken Sid. He was trying, trying to body slam on, on Duncan. I don't think I've ever seen anybody Sid body slam oh, Big God. Duncan. I guess that uh, I was the first time I felt the weight and the, the presence of him. I was gonna say, you, I tried you, lifting him and it was not the gonna happen, mistake. was it? Exactly. I mean, oh, get off him, Joe. You nearly put your back out. Oh, what's Flip Flops doing on the apron? And Wolf Boy behind Hamza's back. Hamza's only one man with two eyes, but come on, guys. This is what happened last week and the week before and the week before. And Jepson's got to contend with all the members here again of the Persian Empire. The ref is just not seeing any of this. And look at that, the jump down and nothing happened, right? Nothing happened. Run back to the grandma. I've got a sight disability and I saw that. I mean, that's all I'm saying, you know? I mean, come on, Hamza. Oh, my God. Come on, Brett. Our officials do the best of their I know they do, he but... help being distracted by idiots. Fact, but it's five on one out there. The goon squad just distracted them. Come it's on. It's five on goon one at this point. Goon squad t-shirts are available. Yeah, goon squad t-shirts. I would fully endorse... Retailers. Fully endorse the goon squad t-shirts. But Duncan fully endorsing no, 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 the no, no, fact no. that he's going to... Oh, charge in the corner. 
Jepson more or less saving his own skin out of the mo uh, you know moving out of the way. I mean, he is head he is headbutting out. <laughs> and he and notice that he had to jump yes! to headbutt Duncan. Oh, he's no, going to no, pick no. him up. Not again. Oh, it's just oh, he's tried it again and it just didn't work. The second time was not the charm for Jepson there. It's not enough. He might have clipped the crown jewels on that. Oh, no, he's hurt himself. He hurt himself, and now again on the outside on Mustafa Khan oh, this time. Come on. Your opponent for tomorrow. Look at him. Can't even fight for it. No, fair. Are you taking all this in, Sid? I'm taking it in. You've got to contend with this tomorrow, Sid. No, worry, I'll be like a train wrecking him. You've got to be like a train. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head like Hamza doesn't have tonight. You're <laughs> going to have to have them tomorrow, I swear down. If you've got any chance of becoming the UK wrestling champion, which I sincerely really hope you do, oh, then, you know, I you mean... You could topple the Persian Empire. Honestly, man, you'd be my hero. I mean, you're my hero already, but you would be my... You know, oh, I don't know. Moving I mean, on. You can do it, Sid. I, I've got faith in you. Yeah, but they let, they let oh. the fire the phoenix. Yeah, they really did. I was trying to say to Steph earlier, just what a fire they lit under you last week. <laughs> Apoplectic. It was unbelievable. It. <laughs> it really was. I've never seen you like that. And now Jepson trying to fight back against one half of the UK wrestling. Tag team champions oh, here. Headbutting a house. Yeah, again, headbutting the red one. That is Duncan. And now Jepson again with oh. that flying shoulder tackle. Knocks down Duncan. But he's took it all out. Yeah, you're right, guys. He's took it all out. Now Jepson trying to get this crowd behind him to build some sort of positive vibe. Is that a thing, a vibe? Am I down with the kids again? I've got a vibe going on here. <laughs> what? Just, just <laughs> too much radio. Just, One, you're just, right. Just you know? right. Oh, is he going to do it again oh, this time? At oh, this time, no. Oh, again, oh, he's oh, really oh. got him up. The third time, and now we got oh. Oh, Leone oh. Rose in the ring from behind. What is she doing? The absolute. Oh, no. oh, oh no. from behind. Oh, no. That's the jewels and the, oh, the clothesline right from behind two three four five on one and now look at this one oh not like this oh, come on daylight robbery absolute daylight robbery get to a point where I'm just like why do we even bother anyone? someone call the police because a crime has just been committed out there what is Joe pushing our ref up I mean, Joe's got this problem with Hamza we know this and the Persian Empire five on one yeah they're big and hard when it's five on one I gotta say as soon as they've got the numbers here they think they go oh get off him I mean, this is just uncalled for at this point. Absolutely uncalled for. The problem is, Andrew Jepson announced Billy O'Keefe is Yeah, he's not here. They, and they know. Yeah, they know that Billy's not here tonight. Billy is hurt. And hurt quite badly, I must say. And now the, the Persian Empire is standing over the man mountain. That pack mentality, guys, again. Again. Oh. Is anybody gonna top these guys? Is I don't know. It's like at this point, it's like have? Sid. This, I mean, this is what you've got to contend with, Sid. Yeah, but the thing is, you're showing me all these little games. Seeing all your games. Hang on, though. Got it all in here. What's that saying? You can get anyone in for me. I'm taking this into my own hands. Oh, Brady, tomorrow. I'm going to get a question, you bitch. Whoa! Calling you. Not a very nice thing, though. Again, Duncan saying tomorrow. Andrew Jepson will get his again. And the man, Matt, it was just impossible. Oh. 
It's yes. just impossible for the man mountain there, sir. Just I know. He did everything right in that match. I mean, where does this? When's this crap going to end, Sid? Well, I'm getting well, annoyed at this now. When is it going to end? Come on, Sid. You, you saw us earlier. Damn it. There was driver Cedric, JP, and myself. We went out there to help the yeah, Yorkshireman. We can't be running out there all this the time. This is what I was going to say. All it's going to take. What is if, it going to take? If we bar them off every match, we're going to get done for being disrespectful against them, and they're going to file a junction against us. We have to be fair with everyone. That fair. is why. We can't just stop them having people at their inside. I tell you, oh, my friend, I really hope. I think you need to relook in Brett's dictionary at the definition uh, of the word fair. I really hope you know what you're getting yourself into tomorrow. I hope you're ready. Hey, Brett, you're just going to call the best match you've ever seen. You're going to see the Sid Phoenix light up the Persian Empire. <laughs> I know one ever because they've lit a fire. You're going to light, light, light them up like cardboard, right? Oh, no. I just, honestly, Sid, I really hope you know what you're doing. More Friday Night Showdown on the way after this. We are back on Friday Night Showdown, the night before Day of Reckoning. Brett, Sid and Steph here at the desk. And uh, we've got, I, I know we had the Persian Empire out here, but... Oh, don't mention that name. Sorry, but... Don't you, don't, don't you go there, sister. I've been told that... Don't do it, Brett. You want, Joe, Joe, Joe wants to come out here and... We, we, we've seen him like a grumpy, spoiled brat all evening, getting his oh. nose involved in everything. All right, let's. So, so if you can hear me out. in the uh, the truck upstairs, let's hit Joey's music and let's see what he's got on his mind. Oh. Yeah. If Come we on. must. Come on, Captain. Again, they can't come on their own. He has to come with his backup. All of them out again. Are they getting bored of each other at this point? I don't know. I'm fed up with smelling them, that's what I'm going to tell you uh, yeah. right now. It's a bad vibe. We're on about vibes. There's a bad one when these guys are out here. And again, end, right? Mustafa Khan taunting my broke broadcast colleague here. He doesn't even show that belt respect. Uh, he doesn't deserve to. They don't know the meaning of the word respect. Where are you going to shove that? Uh, let's, let's get to that tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Joey. Oh. Yada yada, blah blah blah. I was say, you did that, kiddo. Yeah. Oh, else. I've been screwed over by Stephen McQueen. No, he hasn't. Whoa! Oh, God say, how bratty does he want to be? So, does somebody put stick the dummy back in him, for God's sake? I'm fed up with it. I've had enough. Tomorrow night, a day of reckoning, when I face my dad one on one. Nah, he's not facing uh, his dad me? one on one I'm tomorrow. Wrong. The Persian Empire will finally be taken seriously. <sighs> See? As for tonight, I'm not being made look like, look like a fool anymore. I want a proper wrestler, not some talk of hood playing wrestler, not some person that's been locked inside a dog. And you're referring to Mad Ed last week. Joe, I'll think about that match with your dad. Because <laughs> I think he's got bigger fish to fry than you. And tonight, yeah, I've got your opponent. You yeah, know him you've quite won. well. You've got Let's him. just say, you've got to welcome him tonight. Because it's Captain Dan Adams. Oh, oh! You are the proper wrestler, and he's about oh. to get one. The captain sets sail for Joey Flintforks at this point, and here he is. So he said he's fed, he's fed up, he doesn't want some sort of comedy act like Sheep McToom. He doesn't want somebody who should be in a mental hospital like Mad Ed. No, he wants a real wrestler. So, so here we are, let's right? Let's from our Genesis Academy again. Yeah. One that he can complain and mourn about. Hungry and ready for action is Captain Dan Adams, like you said. You know, it's like we said earlier, Genesis Academy, they're all young, hungry, young athletes wanting opportunities. Joey Flip Fox wanted... What? He wants oh, the other rep. He wants Leighton out here, not Hamza. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't make the decisions about the referees here. Yeah? Where's Norman kicking out as he does? 
Honestly, the, he refusing to work with Hamza, who he's had the issue with. Hamza's counts in those matches with Cedric have been completely fair the past couple of weeks, right? Hamza has been nothing, nothing wrong no, here. No, exactly. There has been absolutely nothing oh, wrong. Here, here. here comes Mustafa. I just want to... A dog. We've got dog. Here we go. And the bell rings. Sit. You guys, I'm come on. Save it for tomorrow, tomorrow right? Save it. Just Save it for tomorrow. Just here we've got a match in the ring here with Joe Sedgwick and Captain Dan Adams on Friday Night Showdown. Honestly, this Persian Empire, they're getting a bit too much to handle for me here. Oh, Sedgwick taking some of that angst to that aggression. He's a very angry young man. It does make you wonder why they have to play these mind games. Is it because the, the reality just... is that deep down they know they're not as good as they think they are? Well, unfortunately, at the minute, they're, they're kind of... They're ruling the roost, so to speak. Yeah. But Captain Dan Adams, not to be taken lightly. But ha can he somehow, it's, you know... It's an absolute joke. Look at him. He's, it trying to, he's trying to force our official here to do what he wants. This but, is a joke that he sent. I mean, he, he, he did it, yeah. Back. Who does he think he is? I mean, he didn't... Look at him. Come on, ref. Come he didn't on. want Hamza, so we've given him the other referee late in here. So, he, he, you know, he hasn't got that to moan about anymore. Yeah, but look at him, look at him, he's trying to make the ref, he's telling the ref how to do his job and here. the ref knows how to count, he knows how to break holds, he's, you know. Cedric holding on to Captain Dan Adams. Saying to the ref, you hear him? Yeah, ask him, ref. I don't think the captain's going to quit at this point. I don't know what Cedric's trying to achieve here. I don't think we've ever seen the captain. Hey! Oh, seen the captain hit a drop kick, though. That's beautiful. Nope, ducks under though, Cedric does a nice arm drag. Well, you've said it before many times, Cedric is a great athlete. Now, I've got to say, you can't, as much as I hate to say, you can't discount his the skill. Re that's the most annoying thing. He has the everything thing that really, in that ring, The, the thing joined. that really gets right and grates my cheese is that he is... He is a good athlete. Yeah, you can be a wonderful athlete, you can have talent, but you can also be an arrogant swine. No. I'm <laughs> glad you said that, He's not me. that goon squad. It's all about who you hang out with. Yeah, it's about the company you keep. I've said it so many times. Joey Flipflops here is an example to the youth out there. Of how not to associate with people. How That's what he is. How not to associate with the funky donkey. I, I just no. Funky Donkey Wolf Boy, Leone Rose and Mustafa. I mean, need one for Leone Rose at this point. Uh, again, complaining she's not on the card tomorrow, Sid. Lonely Leone might be the correct. Lonely term. Leone, I like that. All oh, oh Captain here. Dan firing it back. Is more, more, more. It is. That's all we keep person. hearing. Wins, 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 wins. On what's happening tonight? Johan Hunt lost earlier to the Yorkshireman. He did. It must be that that moon cycle phase that they're in the moment. It's all hormones. They're all really angry. Oh, well, nobody it, is more angry and bratty than Joe Sedgwick, though. That's what happens when babies don't get what they want. That's it. Spits the dummy out. He wants his dad in a match. His dad has a match already tomorrow. Against the essential Paul Hubris, his dad's going to have his work cut out for him against Paul Hubris, that's right down. But I thought Mr. Jarman said he wants to know why Paul Hubris attacking him from back. We saw last week this saying all this, but he still wants to know why is he doing it. Hubris didn't, well he said, Hubris said Whoa, last week. that's cold. Hubris said last week because it's funny. Yeah. That, that was his explanation. Not reason. No, oh! Hubris' reason was literally because it's funny. Anyway, that's to come tomorrow at Day of Reckoning. Right now, Joe Cedric has grounded the captain. And again, shouting abuse at the referee. I don't know what he's trying to do. And while he's doing that, uh, again on the outside, the Persian Empire. And Duncan holding off the pass here so that nobody can come and really come to the, oh, the assistance of captain, Dan. And we, again... And we're just seeing it over and over and over and over that these guys just have no conscience, no nothing, you know, Trips. Trips. nothing. Really? He tripped? Oh, come, come on. on. Give over. Pathetic. No, no, no. Oh, oh no. now look at Sedgwick. Come on. Come on oh, this, is, this is painful to watch at this point. That's what it is. I mean, this is what well, this is kind of academic, I think, at this point. The Persian Empire are just ruling over everything with oh, Dan Adams! Nice 
Catches Sedgwick coming in, surprising the up the the, the uppity Sedgwick. And Dan Adams might have a bit of momentum here. I mean, we've said Sedgwick has been on a bit of oh, no. oh, he's been on a losing streak the past few weeks, losing to Sheep McToom, losing to Mad Ed the other day, and now. How many days, like in his oh, eyes, oh, a real oh, wrestler? Okay, oh, the captain, oh, the captain's got him down. Oh, the captain oh, says, oh, "Surely not." The captain, oh, comes crashing come down. On, on Cedric, oh, he's got him down. What? Oh, so on Cedric's oh. leg, his leg is on the bottom rope. The referee did see that one. Oh, and Cedric fighting back. Now with Captain Dan, oh, the Blue Thunder Bomb, one, two, oh no, that's not it. He's not screwing him over, it was a two Probably count. I'm going to ref because he's not counting through. For God's sake, Sedgwick, it is not, it was a oh, fair oh, two oh, count. Oh, 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 oh. And now from behind, oh, he's oh, blasted the referee. Oh no, and now Leighton is out, and Sedgwick is not going to do this. Oh, the flip-flop drop, as I like to call it. <laughs> It's not the oh, one no drop. Ref. No, there's no ref. Because it's just not the referee's been sandwiched. And here comes... Oh, here's Hamza. Is he going to count fairly? One, two... Oh, and oh, Dan Adams kicked no. out. That's a fair count. It was fair a fair count. count. Exactly, Steph. Cedric got a fair count out of Hamza. And Cedric doesn't like it. And now is he going to go for... The, the move that his dad has made infamous in this building, the sharpshooter. Oh, oh, but no, oh, Dan Adams oh, oh, on Cedric. One, two, three. Oh, it was a fair count again. And Joey Flintlocks has been flicked. Again. Oh, what are they doing? Get off that fish out here. Once again, Joe Cedric lost fair and square. First referee gets taken out. We've only got hands in the air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he wants, he wants to and do Captain Dan. Get off him now, Joe. Oh, come on. Somebody do something. Hamza is getting berated and battered in the corner, but he was just doing his job here, guys. He counted the fall. It was a fair count. Joe's lost again to, you know, a real wrestler. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. That's he what he got. And he's lost again, and he can't hack it. The kid cannot take losing. I was going to say, is that two, two for one tonight? Two losses to yeah, one but for the Yeah, but that's like the third week in a row on Showdown. But Cedric has lost. There was nothing wrong with the referee. It was a fair count. What are you doing? Honestly. Well. It was a fair count. Wow. It was a fair count. Anyway, get the Persian Empire out of here. We'll be back with our main event after this. Stay right there. We are back here on Friday Night Showdown from the UK Wrestling Arena. And Day of Reckoning joins us tomorrow. Make sure you join us even tomorrow for Day of Reckoning, June the 18th. For now, though, our main event of Friday Night Showdown is about to get underway. A first-time meeting. We saw them earlier on as friends. Now they're going to have a competitive matchup. Ooh. Let's see what happens here. As Ham I hope Hamza's all right after that abuse well, that he just took. He's a consummate right professional, though. He's a consummate uh, he is. Like Steph said, he's a professional. We're professionals. Let's get our main event out here. Let's take it up to the lovely Shelby and get it out here. Your next match is our main event, and it's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first, please welcome the loudest man in professional wrestling. You got your earplugs ready, Steph. Be prepared. Be prepared, Steph. I'm used to this at this point. <laughs> We've had it enough Wait now today. Yeah. Come on, there he is. Air horn in hand. The loudest man in the building. It's my man. It's JPR. My man, JPR. Here. <laughs> and I was ready. I'm ready to be prepared for that. Air horn and all. What a guy. And he is set for our main event right here on the 30th edition of Friday Night Showdown. Thanks for joining us from the UK Wrestling Arena. Things heating up definitely. The hottest day of the year so far. And 
the hottest action every Friday night right here at UK Wrestling. <laughs> and one more air horn for good measure. Well, he's the loudest action. Yeah. He is the loudest man in British wrestling, but he's got a very yeah, formidable he's opponent he's tonight. Not just any opponent, let's be honest. He's in his own house, yeah, he's in the house that Cedric built. Oh, and made famous, Sid. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he knows. Captain <laughs> Smooth. Captain Smooth. With the sunglasses, you can have the sunglasses there, there you go. Smooth Cedric, there we go. I like he was doing his best Morris Gibb impression there. You know who Morris Gibb was? Suit me. Off of the Bee Gees? Um, uh, yeah, you get away with it. But the yeah. question is can you still see the in ring action when <laughs> I'm on? Long as you're gonna, my ring. <laughs> you're gonna want to see this though, Steph. I'll, be, I'll, I'll watch it from here. It was Robin Gibb, not Morris Gibb, by the way. But you're gonna want to see this. Jonathan Cedric, the CEO of UK Wrestling. The man, the myth, the legend himself, ready for action against the loudest man in UK wrestling. JPR, the bell rings, and our main event of the evening is underway. I've always wanted to do that. Here on Friday Night Showdown. Let's get the crowd into this. I feel like this is going to be one of those matches that's just really fun yeah, to watch. Fun and competitive and respectful. There you go, the handshake is there. Something we've lacked recently. Yeah, I mean, we've seen no respect all the evening, but it was about time we got some, and we do have some. These guys are friends. There is a mutual sort of connection there. They are, you know, they are very upstanding men. They, they have some respect and honor amongst each other. And I think they just wanted this match Sid, to see, you know, what, what would happen. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Say it's a nice tune for both men here. Of course, yeah. It's a nice. It's if JPR can win here, a momentum game oh, for him. Oh, nice. Yep, JPR said, you know, he, he admitted that he got beat. Oh, the Russian leg sweep from Cedric, though. JPR admitting a few weeks ago he did. You know, he got bested. There's the Cedric leg drop. Is that, oh, is that cover job? Oh, dog, show on. Uh, I'm bigging him up here. <laughs> you know. Yeah, JPR admitted that you know he, he was he was at the bottom of the pile and he had to fight his way back up into contention. But is he looking for the shot shooter? No, he's not. Kicks the hamstrings of JPR, dissecting the body part. <laughs> the loudest man in UK wrestling. He's not so loud when he's down on no. his back, though, is he? You know. Oh, I don't know. I disagree with that. I think he's plenty loud. <laughs> but not the same kind of loud. The only loud we're hearing now is the loud screams of anguish. There we go from Ooh, JPR. Anguish. anguish. Oh, a more there. The leg is definitely in anguish. <laughs> I love the audience member there. JPR, are you okay? Uh, uh, I think the answer is not at this point. Not at this present moment, young man. Oh, but JPR oh, oh, is maybe a little bit start. fired up. Back on his feet and firing Cedric back into the, uh, the, the corner here. He's got to be careful on those legs that have just been worked over. He's still got some whoa, Get up and go in him. JPR are on fire at yeah. the minute. Oh, listen to this. JPR, spaghetti legged, but it was all the way around. Hey, and flattened Cedric with the clothesline. Not a great oh, cover, only gets him. one and a half. That was quite a weak cover from JPR. Uh, are they it both, was is there too much respect and they're forgetting that it's, it's a wrestling match, they still need to cover each other? That's a really good point. Is there too much yeah. respect? What a good point, Sydney Phoenix. I'm impressed. Well, it, it, it's, to me, it's a mistake I will make because I'm like, I respect this guy. I'm not going to make it yeah. extremely kick out. But of then I'm sure both guys want to prove a point. Like you said oh. earlier, Cedric meets him coming in with a drop kick. JPR right in the bread basket, that one. It's a line straight out of the 80s. Right in the bread basket. Paying homage to my favourite commentator of all time, saying that. Now Cedric trying to keep on JPR, which he's going to have to do. 
Just gonna give KPR the chance to hit that red rum DDT because it will be over if he does. But well, you got to think how fast each man can hit that yeah. finisher, should we say here? If it's GPR hits that red rum, it's over. It's Jonathan done. Hits that super, super kick. kick. Yeah, yeah. Either man's finisher could come at any point. Looking for a bulldog out the corner, hits the bulldog impressively. In the middle of the ring, down for a cover. But this time, no, he's not. Oh, he's, he actually got a good cover this time no, with a hook of the leg. It took yeah, he's yeah, been was, worn out here. It was a hesitation. It's been worn out a bit. That explains the hesitation, but at least it was a good cover. And now the knees into the small of the back of JPR. Cedric oh. keeping his opponent grounded. Keeping him grounded. There you go, saying again, are you okay? He's really not. Oh. And this time, is he now? Oh. No, again, oh. kicking away again at the back of the legs. Not going for the. Oh, he's looking. Oh, no. oh woo. We're going to get a woo out of Cedric. We are, because he's looking for a, a figure four. He can't quite get him down for it. Oh, and he, he, I'm resisting yeah. that. Oh, that was it's like what you're gonna re you're gonna resist this. I'm just gonna cartwheel your legs backwards. Oh. Legs are not meant to bend that way, folks. Oh God, I feel a bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Legs are not meant to bend like that. Cedric could not get the figure four in. Can he get a suplex on JPR here? Yes, he can. Oh, All the way over goes JPR. But but I think that, that did him more damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. The effort there to That's get... the word. More harm than good. That's what I'm looking for. And only gets a two count. It took something out of Cedric delivering the suplex to JPR. And this match going back and forth. It's the same old feeling. Somebody out there will get this, the song quote I just did. And there's the leg drop from Cedric. Again, not much on the cover though. And brother, he kicked out at two and a half. And some of the crowd thinking that was three, but it wasn't. And again, Hamza's counts fair and accurate, like they were in the last match. And every other match is done. You know? How can I say he needs to wear oh. And JPR. He's got, oh, Cedric up on his shoulders. Cedric and JPR both with the same idea. The meeting in the middle. Both guys are down. Wait, oh, no. no it's hubris. I warned you. I said he might be here. What's Mustafa Khan doing? Hubris attacking Cedric. And now Mustafa Khan and the Persian Empire. Again, having their way with JPR. I warned you earlier, Sid, Steph. Sid, Sid? Sid's gone. Sid's out of here. And again now, Sid Phoenix and Mustafa Khan going at it 24 hours before Day of Reckoning. The heavyweight champion. And Paul Hoover is from behind with that elbow right to the back and Cedric's out. Cedric met with the elbow and now oh, Mustafa Khan's got Sid. No, no. Sid Phoenix. And Jonathan Sedgwick have been laid out. Oh no, this is not good. Paul Hubris against Jonathan Sedgwick tomorrow at Day of Reckoning. Oh, and I'll give a disrespect in stereo from Mustafa Khan with his foot on the chest of the number one contender for his heavyweight championship tomorrow. It'll be a different story if Sid Phoenix gets his way. Can he do it? Can Sid Phoenix topple the mountain topper, the man who is the heavyweight champion Mustafa Khan? And can Jonathan Sedgwick, when it is one on one, when it is not Jonathan, from behind? Jonathan is going to wish he was wrestling his son tomorrow. Wow. He might actually have a chance to beat his own child, but he chose me, the idiot. Hubris calling Cedric an idiot, saying tomorrow. There's a lot of hubris on that. Yeah, man. he's going to wish that he'd have chosen to face Joe Cedric because tomorrow he's going to have no chance against 
Paul Hubris, but Mustafa Khan making a loud and clear message. Why don't you go backstage? And the Persian Empire making a loud and clear message tonight. Make, make, make my match. I can't make, make your match, match, right? Make my match. Make your match. I can't look. I am not the matchmaker here, guys. You just you just flatten the matchmaker. More whinging. A small taste, says Mustafa Khan, right? A small taste of tomorrow, yeah? I've had massages that hurt more. Wow! Mustafa Khan saying he's had he's had massages that hurt more. I can't make your match, you spoiled brat. Get out of here. Mustafa Khan saying he's had massages that hurt more than Sid Phoenix. Tomorrow though, the one could cause the massive upset and become the UK wrestling heavyweight champion. Can he do it tomorrow? Make sure you join us. Make sure you join us for Day of Reckoning tomorrow at the UK Wrestling Arena. For Sid Phoenix, Steph Hindle, I am Brett Hadley saying goodnight everybody and join us next week for more Friday Night Showdown.